Hello, in this tutorial, I'll be showing you how to make a website for a construction company. The platform that we'll be using in this tutorial is Wix. The reason why I recommend Wix is because it is user-friendly, it is quite easy to use even as a complete beginner, and also you can get started for completely free. The first thing you will need to do is go onto Wix.com. Once on Wix.com, you can sign up for completely free using your email address and you're going to create a password. After you have done that, you will be redirected to a dashboard similar to this. And all I want you to do is go over to the top right hand corner and tap on create site. After you have done that, you will be redirected to this dashboard. And all you'll need to do now is simply type in construction right there. And you're going to see the option construction company you are going to tap on that then select next after you have done that you're going to be redirected to a new dashboard and from here you will be able to choose your template so as you can see right here the wix ai is currently working on our website so just give it a few seconds and then i'll show you what to do from there so we are now directed into our dashboard as you can see right here. So all you'll need to do now is enter your business name. So let's say I want to call my construction company simple construction. I'll simply do that right there by typing in the name. Then you can enter your business address. After you have done that you would tap on next. And from there you could select your working hours. So you can edit your working hours when your business opens and when it closes. Then you are going to tap on next again in the bottom right hand corner. After you have done that, you can select the services that your company offers. So for example, do you guys offer a full renovation estimate? You can simply tick that. If you also offer roofing estimate, you could tick that also. If you offer building maintenance, which more than likely you will, you could simply tick that and you can add any other service by simply tapping on create new service at the bottom right here. And again, this is one of the reasons why I recommend Wix as as you can see right here, it's user face make it very easy for a complete beginner to create a professional looking website. So we're going to tap on next again in the bottom right hand corner. Then from here, you'll be able to add staff members. So you can enter their name. You can also add their email address if you want. After you have done that, you're going to tap on next. Then from here, you will see useful apps that you can add to your store or better yet to your website. For example, will you like to accept online payments? If you do, you could simply tick the box. If you would like to accept in-person payments, which more than likely you will, you can tick the box also. Would you like to be able to manage your website while on your mobile device? You could simply tick this. Are you planning to sell digital or physical products? You could tick this also. Then we'll simply tap on next in the bottom right hand corner. After you have done that, you're going to tap on continue to dashboard. Once you have tapped on continue to dashboard, you'll be led to this new page on which you can continue setting up your new construction website. Once on this page, which is your dashboard, what I want you to do is pay attention to the left hand menu option. From the left hand menu option, you will see booking calendar. You can organize your booking calendar by simply tapping on calendar right here. And then from there, you can add any upcoming events or so on that you want to keep on track you can simply add it to your calendar right here. Another thing that you can also do, you could scroll down and if you would like to add more staff members, you could tap on staff. After doing that, you can scroll down and from here you could track your orders by simply tapping on orders. And if any time coming up, you would like to create a promotion and you would like to offer gift cards or discount, you can do that by simply selecting gift cards right here and you'll be able to create gift cards. You can also set up loyalty programs or if you offer referral programs, you can do that also. 
Then by scrolling down, you'll see contacts. And by contacts, you'll be able to add individual names and email address by selecting that. And you can also scroll down and from there, if you'd like to create forms and submissions, you can do that also. And by scrolling down, you'll see analytics and reports. So from here, you'll be able to track the traffic of your website. And you can also get an overview of the amount of sales that you have made right here. Now that we have done that, if you would like to set up your payments, all you will have to do is go to billing and payments. Then from there, you could tap on payments. After you have tapped on payments, you will be redirected to this page and you are going to tap right where you see manage payment methods. After tapping on manage payment methods from here, you'll be able to add PayPal and so on. Any one of the pay payment options that you would like to be available on your website, you can activate it from right here. So all you will need to do is tap on connect and from there you will add your PayPal information. So once someone visits your website and wants to make a purchase or make a payment, they can do that. Once you have organized all of these, all I want you to do is go over to the left hand menu option again, scroll up and you are going to select home. After selecting home, I want you to go over to the right hand menu option and you are going to tap right where you see design site. By tapping on design site, you will be redirected to this dashboard and I want you to tap on pick a template. After tapping on pick a template, from here you'll see numerous construction company templates that you can choose from. And this is another standout feature of the Wix website builder platform. As with these templates, you'll be able to create a website quickly. So all you have to do is tap on a template that you like. I think I like this one, so I'm going to tap on edit. Once you have tapped on edit, you're going to give the AI a few seconds. Meanwhile, it creates your website. Goods up, you'll be redirected to this page on which you could type in information right here about how you would like your website to look. And then the AI will write information or content for your website. So you could do that if you want and tap on create site text. But for now, I won't do that. So I'm going to simply tap on the X right there. After you have done that, I want you to tap right where you see plus 50%. So you will go to zoom 100. And at the moment, this is how your website looks as you can see right here. So this is how it looks. To make any changes, it's quite easy. All you have to do is simply tap on the section that you would like to change. So let's say you would like to change the background photo right here. All you will need to do is tap on it. Once you have tapped on it, all you'll need to do now is tap right where you see quick edit. Once you have tapped on quick edit, you're going to see a window pop up on the right hand column. From there, you could tap on change and you would be able to change the background image. If you would like to change the text, you could change the text right there. And you can also add other stuff if you want. And by tapping on layout, you'll be able to change the layout if you want. But I would recommend that you keep it original and keep it as is. If anything, I would only change the text and also the background image if I must. Once you have done those changes, all you'll need to do now is simply tap on the X and then we can continue with our tutorial. And if you would like to add anything, all you have to do is go over to the left hand menu option, tap on the plus that says add elements. And from here, if you would like to add a text box, you can do that. If you would like to add images, you can do that. All you have to do is hover over image. Then from there, you could upload a photo from your computer and you could add it to your website. If you would like to add buttons, for example, PayPal button or so on, any form of button, you can do that. If you would like to also add a chat bot, you can do that by simply tapping on Wix chat button right here. Then you could select any one of these buttons. All you have to do is simply drag and place it where you'd want it on your website. You can also add boxes as you can see right here, for example, hover boxes. 
you could add hover boxes if you want you can also add gallery so if you would like to add a photo gallery you can do that you can also add contact forms as you can see right here so if for any reason you would like to create a waiver or a request you can do that using wix and you can also add embedded codes and by scrolling down you can add your social media if you want there are numerous options when it comes on to wix and if in the future you'd like to create a store on which you would sell some products you can tap right where you see store right here and you could tap on add to site and you would be able to add a store to your website and that's basically it once you're finished all you will need to do is tap on preview in the top right hand corner once you have previewed it and it is to your liking all you'll need to do next is simply tap on publish and that's it your website will now be live and from there you'll be able to share your url on social media and you'll start getting visits to your construction company website i hope you found this tutorial helpful and informative if you did be sure to hit the like button and subscribe